You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Oh, tough luck, mister. Yeah, I thought I could make that one easy. Yeah, I thought so, too. Well, at least I didn't leave you much. Well, let's see. <laughs> they said you don't have a shot. <laughs> it looks like you're going to snooker yourself. Well, you never can't tell. Eight ball, corner pocket. <laughs> Lots of luck. Like I said, eight ball, in the corner. Hey, how'd you do that? Ah, oh, just lucky, I guess. Luck, nothing. <laughs> that was some shot. Been practicing. I uh, guess it finally paid off. Yeah. You win. Here's your five bucks. Yeah, one more game, double or nothing. Yeah, hey, you wouldn't be hustling me, would you? Do I look like a hustler? I'm not sure. Oh, come on. <laughs> me? See, I just play on my lunch hour, you know, whatever town I'm in. Relaxation. Oh, me too. Strictly for laughs. So how about it? I don't know. Flip to see who breaks? That's all right. You go ahead. Yeah? Sure. Well, okay. Double or nothing. Go on. Sink as many as you can. Make it hard for me. No money on the table. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, Pops. You know I don't allow gambling in here. Yeah, we're, we're just having a friendly little game. Jesse, Jesse, why don't you give it a rest? Now, he do this a lot? Every day. It's all he lives for, this one. So he is a hustler. What are you talking about? Tell him, Pops. I never hustled anybody. Not for money. For pride. Go outside, Jesse. Get some sun on your face. You'll feel better. I already feel better. Forget the money. We'll, we'll play for the fun of it. No stakes? Not a dime. In that case, let's see how good you really are. Nice break. Of course, I didn't sink any. But that's my advantage. Yeah? Too many balls on the table. It doesn't leave you a shot. Watch me. What in the... Bank shot, three cushion. Curve ball. Top spin. Little English. And over and under. Now, my favorite shot. It took me years to learn this one. You're not going to believe it till you see it with your own eyes. This is the way it's done. Good. Pretty good. You kidding? Nobody ever made a shot like that in the history of the world. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll give you that. <laughs> but you're no Fats Brown or anything. What? Put your glasses on. It was impossible, but I made it. Yeah, sure. Keep practicing. You'll get there. Hey, here's for the beer, Pops. See you around. Okay. Thanks. What, what are you talking about? Keep practicing. I made it. Jesse. Just enough hey. English, the right draw, perfect position. Settle down. Perfect. Easy, Jesse. That's all I ever hear. Fats Brown. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of hearing his name. Jesse, relax. You got company. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, you are a lucky man. Rita, what are you doing here? I thought we had a date. No, that's tomorrow night. Thursday night. Tonight is Thursday night. What? Oh, 
I, I guess I lost track of time. I'm sorry. I, I was supposed to pick you up at 8 o'clock. 7. 7. It's 9. Wow. <whistles> wow. You, you look great. Mm, don't change the subject. But I did get dressed up special just for you. Well, we can still go out. Mm, it's pretty late for dinner. Well, how about if we go out for a drink? Or a movie? How did you forget about our date? Yeah, how did you do that, Jesse? I, I was shooting pool, and I guess I just lost track of the time. Uh-huh. The guy I was playing started baiting me, saying, I'm no Fats Brown, I'm no Fats Brown. Can you believe that? How could I not be better than a guy who's been dead for 15 years? When it comes to dating, it's a draw, Jesse. <laughs> okay, I deserve that. Look, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Come on, let's get out of here. Why not? There's nobody left to hustle. Right, kid? You bet, Pops. I beat them all. Fats might have been good in his day, but this is my day. I'm Jesse Carter, the best pool cue on Randolph Street. The best player ever. Maybe. Too bad Fats is dead. Now, you'll never know for sure. <sighs> I know. And it's killing me. I would have given anything to play him. Jesse Cardiff, Pool Shark. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be on Randolph Street. He has spent every free minute honing his skill for pride and for love of the game. But he's about to learn that there's more to a man's reputation than skill or talent or even fame and that being the best at anything carries its own special problems in or out of the Twilight Zone. And now, The Twilight Zone and our story, A Game of Pool, starring Wade Williams with Stacy Keach as your narrator. Hmm. So, what's the big deal about this dead fat guy? Don't you know nothing? Fats Brown is a legend. Where you been? Most people say he's the best ever. Then he must be. No, no, not really. Because most people never saw me play. I'm better. Is pool all you think about? Well, what else is there? Look, if, if you want to be the best at something, it's got to be your life, right? Where do I fit into your life, champ? Oh, oh, you are right there. I work you in whenever I can. You gotta understand something, baby. Pool takes a lot of concentration. Well then, I got a great idea. What? I want you to stay here. Yeah? And then concentrate? Oh. On losing my phone number. Oh, Rita, don't be mad. Rita, where are you going? Rita, come on! Look, Rita, please stop. Get lost. Let me explain. What? Look, I, I would give anything to play Fats Brown just once. Is that so wrong? Yes. But for your own sick, self-centered ego, I hope you get your wish. Rita, come on, give me a break. I just want to beat the best. What's wrong with that? Fats. Dead and buried in the ground. I'd give anything to play him one time. I could beat him cold. I know it. I'd show him who's the best. anything to play him one time one time one time one time one time one time fat ass brown mr fat ass brown <laughs> report to mr's pool room randolph street who is it this time fat ass brown you're needed Mr. Pool Room, 
Randolph Street, Chicago. I'm on my way. Mr. Fat Brown. It doesn't matter to me, straight pool, anything. If I just had the chance to meet Fats Brown face to face one time. At your service. Who? How did... You called? Y yeah, but... I, I must be seeing things. Why do you say that? Fats Brown? I, I thought you were... Dead? Not quite. As long as people talk about you, you're not really dead. As long as they speak your name, you continue. Continue? The game goes on, you might say. A legend doesn't die just because the man does. No. No, no, no. I, I know that, but... But what? This is impossible. Nothing's impossible. Some things are less likely than others, that's all. Wait a minute. There's a picture of the real fats on the wall. You... You look like them, but... Not many people do. Yeah, there, standing by a table, holding this custom-made pool cue. You mean this one? Where'd you get that? Nice stick. Good balance. I had it made to order. Wait a minute. Let me get a look at the face. The, the chin? The nose? Not one of my better pictures. It isn't a rib. I, I mean, you're, you're him. You're... James Howard Brown, known to my friends as Fats. <laughs> I know it's a shock, but then you called me, I didn't call you. Oh, uh, well, I, I didn't mean to... I mean, that is, I, 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 I was just trying to... To what? I don't know. I, I was just saying if, if I could... If I could... If I could prove... It was big talk. Is that it? Well, no, not exactly. Talk is cheap. I know the type. You like to play with fire, but you don't like to cook. You're not really as good as you claim to be, and you know it. Hey! Deep down, you know you're second rate. Now, hold on. Are you afraid? Well, why would I be? Look, I've come a long way, boy. I don't like to be fooled with. I've met your kind before. A little skill, a little knack, some style. But when the heat's on, you fold. That isn't fair. You've never seen me play. Maybe not, but I've seen plenty like you. You have, huh? How do you know I can't beat you? How does anyone know anything? We learn to read the signs. Well, take another look. It's possible, isn't it? That's not the point. It's a matter of what's likely. But it is possible. Sure, it's possible. Things change. Records get higher. Once upon a time, nobody could run the four-minute mile. But people get better. Then you admit it. Yes, it's possible you could beat me. But the only way you'll do it is with a pool cue. You'll never get the job done with your mouth. All right, fat boy. Dead or alive, I'll tell you something. Maybe you are some kind of a legend, a tin god. But you know what you are to me? A big balloon. Just waiting for someone to stick a needle in you. Well, I'm the someone, and here's the needle. Where? My pool cue. Oh, it'll get the job done. Don't you worry. You're like all the other legends. You get by on your reputation. One time I heard a man in this very room swear he saw you make a nine-cushion bank. And you don't believe it? Now, you hit a ball that hard, it won't stay on the table. The guy had more imagination than brains. Is that so? Well, let me tell you. That's not what counts. The question is, can I back it up? Oh, how right you are. I know how good I am. But you... Then you'll play me? Rack the balls. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. What about the stakes? The stakes? A little something to make the game more interesting. Oh, well, here's what I got. I'll shoot it all. My whole bankroll. Any or all of it. Put it back in your pocket. Why? My money not good enough for you? Come on, use your wits, boy. What good is money to me? Then what? Something to make the long journey worth my while. Name it. You said you'd give anything for a game with me. Anything. What are you getting at, mister? Just what kind of stakes are you talking about? Life or death. What? You beat me, you live. You lose, you die. You're pulling my leg. The proposition is simple enough. You're crazy. Interesting. What is? 
to see how much faith you have in your ability. Or should I say how little? Go chase yourself. You know something? For my money, you don't want it bad enough to be the best. Why, when I was your age, I would have jumped at the chance. But then I was better than second rate. Watch it. You wouldn't know about that. It takes more than skill to be a champion. It takes equal parts talent, work, luck, and nerve. A quality you sadly lack. Nerve? You mean insanity? How so? You want me to risk my life on a game? Insanity, then, if you prefer. Listen, I'm just a pool player. There's probably no less important thing on the face of the earth, pushing balls around with a stick on a felt-top table. But mark this in your book. I'm the best. It's a proud thing to be the best at anything. But then you wouldn't know about that either. Hey, hold on. Hmm. Where, where are you going? I'm going back, of course. Back where? You wouldn't understand. You're wrong. About what? You say I don't want to be the best bad enough. That's not true. Oh, boy, is it not true. Do you know how many hours, how many years, how much of my blood and sweat I put into this game? I'm listening. How many nights I slept right here on this table? Yeah, I did that. I made a deal with the owner so I could practice after the place was closed. I haven't been to the movies in years. I know what you're talking about, but it's still talk and nothing else. I'm good, mister. Real good. But am I... am I that good? You'll never know until you're ready to risk everything. Will you stop pushing me? Sure I will, I was just thinking. Where I come from, there's a race driver. Go to the track and whisper his name. Say Tazio Nuvolari and watch the heads nod up and down. Or go to the bull ring and hear them talk of Manolette. Both men face death daily, and both are legends. They learned something important early on. You'll never make the grade by playing it safe. Uh, this is nuts. So long, kid. Wait. What for? Oh, boy, what, what am I doing? Something you want to tell me? Well, I... You accept the terms? I... Life or death. Rack em. Just so you understand, once we start the game, there's no turning back. Get cold feet and it'll be too late. You heard me. Rack the balls. In a hurry, are you? I've been waiting a long time for this. Have you? Yes, I guess you have. First, the tools of my trade. Now, what's so special about that stick, anyway? It's the man that counts. You're right. But this one suits me. You know how it is? The big game hunter has his elephant gun, specially bored with a custom grip. The fencing master uses a blade from Lima. This cue? It was made for me in St. Louis. It cost 600 bucks back then, and I made a living from it for 35 years. It never let me down. Well, there's a first time for everything. Yes, I guess there is. The question is, what's the most likely outcome? Look, if you're not going to rack them, I will. Anytime you're ready. Do I get to call the game? Name it. Rotation. Kelly. 14-1 rack. Eight ball, what's your pleasure? All right. Let's see how good you are. One game, 300 points. That'll do. Standard rules. Is there any other kind? But just so there's no misunderstanding, we play for the value of the balls. Nine points for the nine ball, ten for the ten, and so forth. Agreed? Agreed. Good. Do you have a coin? Right here. Toss for break? You flip. Sure. Call it. Tails. Here goes. Why'd you put your hand over it? I want to give you a fair chance. Go ahead, let's see. You can change your mind. You heard me, tail. All right, then. If you're sure. You can change your mind, you know. There's still time. 
Not on your life. My life's not what's at stake. Let's see it. Heads. I guess that means it's my break. Yeah, your break. As soon as I chalk up. Take your time. I know what you're thinking, son. Oh, you do, huh? Same as most players. The man who breaks is at a disadvantage. Once he scatters the balls, the other man has a clear field. Well, doesn't he? Maybe with some people, but not the way I play. Oh, sure. I suppose you can control the break. Time to go to school. Wow. Two balls into the rail, back to where they were, exactly. No advantage given. That's... That's a perfect break, all right. Mm -hmm. I bet it took you years to learn that. Oh, it did, but not the way you think. What do you mean? It takes more than practice. Not just setting up shots in an empty pool hall. You have to handle the pressure out there in the real world. Well, this is my world. You're on my turf now. I know this table like the back of my hand. Maybe, but who have you played here? Kids, two-bit hustlers, traveling salesmen? Step aside, fat man. Be my guest. Now it's your turn to scatter them. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A safety. Playing it close to the vest, aren't you? That's what you call strategy. What are you gonna do now? I'll try to think of something. There's always a power break. Yeah. But if nothing falls, you leave me wide open. And if I sink one, you're really in trouble. With luck, I can run the whole table. Prove it. Keep your eye on the 15 ball. It's not going in. Funny thing, I was thinking it is. Corner pocket. Think again. Oh, well, quite a few balls around the one. Looks like you're sewed up. Yeah, yeah. If you don't connect, it'll cost you. If I don't, mind if I smoke? If it makes you feel better. Yeah, you wouldn't have a fresh pack on you. I gave them up. Bad for my health. Oh, that's okay. I got one left. Nervous? Eh, not me. Why is your hand shaking? Uh, maybe I'm itchy to get this over with. Or maybe you're just trying to rattle me. Or maybe it's because you don't have a shot. Except for the bank. That'll take a lot of English. Oh, I'm loaded with it. So you are. This time. Shall I keep score? I got it. Now what? The follow-up is important. You have to plan ahead. Three rails, two ball in the corner. That's a hard combination. For some people. Watch your angle now. You watch it. Oh, I am. How about that, fat boy? Not too shabby. It was great. In some places. You know what? You're like all the others. Always trying to bring me down. Well, why would I do that? When I was a kid, there were plenty of guys like you. Guys who were good at things like music and basketball and arithmetic. They'd do anything they could to make me feel about an inch tall. Well, you fooled them, right? Yeah. Yeah, I sure did. I knew there was something, somewhere, that I could be good at. One day, I was about 16. I wandered in here. It was cool and dark, like... I don't know, like being underwater, you know? Yeah, I know. So I kept coming back. I used to stand around and watch him play. Got to know the place, till I felt relaxed. You know, one day I picked up a stick and asked this old man. He was sitting right over there. I said, do you want to play, mister? Why not, he said. And I beat him. I beat him! That was when I knew I had an eye for the game. Three ball. 
Go in. And I, huh? What happened to it? Well, I almost made it. My turn. The reball. You know, almost works a lot of the time, but not in geometry. Well, what's that got to do with it? Pool is geometry in its most challenging form, a science of precise angles and forces. You have to understand that or you're lost. Yeah, yeah. Four ball, other end. Lucky shot. Luck had nothing to do with it. Five in the side. Angles, forces, big deal. Now who's sewed up, huh? I'll admit, it doesn't look good. You can say that again. If you don't hit the five first, you scratch. And that'll cost you points. Mm-hmm. You're a shot. Oh, man, is it. Five ball. Six. Seven. Now the eight. Nine in the side. Ten. Eleven ball, corner. I have 59 points, you have seven. The game still has braces on its teeth. Rack them up. No kidding. Just in case you lost track. Tell you what I'm gonna do, fat boy. Let me make it easy on you. No thanks. Hey, I'm trying to do you a favor. For what reason? Because I got feelings. Come on, admit it. This must be humiliating. Oh, I wouldn't say so. Well, let me say it for you then. The game's as good as over. Is that what you think? You want to throw in the towel and walk away? I'll let you. You will, huh? Sure. That way it won't hurt so much. It's not over till it's over, son. Be serious. Look at the score. I got 299. So I see. Well, what does that tell you? I need any ball to win. That right. Time to face facts. There's no way. You might as well throw in the towel. I've been in tougher situations than this. <laughs> when? There's more to winning than scoring points. Oh, yeah? Like what? Something you can't learn in here. Then why don't you teach me? Go on. I I'm all ears. Takes time. So? That's something you got plenty of, right? Talk is cheap. The big things you have to learn for yourself. Quit stalling. It's my shot. In an awful big hurry, aren't you? To be the best? Oh, you better believe it. I've been waiting years for this. One more shot and you are history, fat boy. There's a new shooter now and his name is Jesse Cardiff. Back off and give me room. This is something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life.
Don't let me hold you up. Oh, I won't, I promise. Yep, this is the big one. They don't come any bigger. Me and Fats Brown, and I need one to win. Feast your eyes on this. Number five in the corner. Funny. Something you want to say? I was just thinking. You do a lot of that. What is it this time? Just that there's more to life than a pool hall. Huh? No kidding. It isn't right you being cooped up in here all the time. You're all hard fats. You gotta get out a little, see what's going on. Uh, I've heard that before, from Pops. Now what about you? What about me? Well, you didn't get to be the best sitting on a park bench. You spent a lot of time with a pool cue in your hands. You must have. Of course I did, but I found time to live, too. I've been to places where they never heard of billiards. If you call that living, why would you want to? Why bother? It's not easy to explain, but I'll try. I may not look the part, Jesse, but I've done other things, too. A whole lot of other things. I've made love, walked uphill, and swum in the ocean. I've been on airplanes and cruise ships and played tag with little children. And when I think of the wonderful things there are to see and do in this world, it hurts me to think of you rotting your life away in this miserable dark hall. What? Oh, I get it. Nice try. What's this, you don't believe me? Doesn't matter whether I do or not. You're trying to distract me so I won't make my shot. Am I? That's a lousy thing to do. But it won't work. Five, corner pocket. Hey, what are you doing? Doing? Oh, you mean the coin, sorry, it's an old habit of mine. Take your hand out of your pocket. Sure, if you like. Now don't say another word, just for a minute. This is the easiest shot I ever saw. There's no way I can mess it up. Nobody could. I'm in no hurry. Good. Take your time. I will. And I'll stand over here and just give you all the room you want. You do that. Enough with the chalk already. What? Oh, sorry, sorry. You're not even going to get to shoot again. I'm making this shot and there's nothing you can do to stop me. No doubt. You did that. Did what? You dropped the chalk. Then I better pick it up. My shot. But... That one right there, in the side. Oh, I don't believe it. Look at you. A little gamesmanship, a little pressure to put some fun in the game, and you come apart at the seams. You cheated. I did? How so? Well, you... Kid stuff. To make you break your concentration and shoot wild didn't take much. You know, if you ask me, that's pretty low down. Some places they break a guy's thumbs for that. Not here. Game ball. Oh, one more thing. If you want to concede now and save yourself the embarrassment. Take your shot. It's not over till it's over. Right. Even when it's just a formality. Last ball. Corner pocket. Choke. You wouldn't be trying to distract me, would you? Ha! Almost. Almost doesn't make it. There it is, the game ball again, right in front of me. All my life. So you said. Okay, you had your fun. This ball has my name written all over it. Perfect angle, clear table. I was made for this. Give it some thought, Jesse. Think about this. I sink it. I become the greatest. You're not going to make it. It's simple enough straight in, but you won't make it. You're sweating, fat man. Now, why are you so nervous? Not why you think. You wouldn't understand the reasons. No, no, no. I understand, all right. It means a lot to you, doesn't it? Even as a dead man, to have your name up there as the unbeatable champ of all time? It carries certain satisfactions, yes. I'll give you a chance at my crown, Jesse, but only if you're willing to stake your life on the game, Jesse. Couldn't be just a nice, friendly little game, huh? I take it as it comes. To you... Pool is not a nice, friendly game. It's a win-at-any-price affair. I saw that right off, and I acted accordingly. But it didn't do you any good. Didn't it? I've made this shot hundreds of times. Not when your life depended on it. Is this some more of your gamesmanship? I've been studying you, Jesse. 
I've gone up against dozens like you. Pressure is what separates the champions from the also rans. I've seen men who could shoot brilliant pool, but they were duds when the stakes were high. That's why I insisted we play for something big. What does it matter to you if I win or not? Afraid I'll take your place? Is that it? Did people stop talking about Dempsey when Joe Lewis came along? Did Beethoven replace Bach? No. He wouldn't replace me. Then why? Someone has to keep the flame. Someone has to weed out those who haven't got what it takes. The champions, the legends, they serve a purpose. To be a challenge and an incentive. I don't need a challenge. Everyone needs a challenge, Jesse. Someone great out of the past to say, match what I've done, boy, and make it better. That's true of all walks of life, music, politics, sports, you name it. Musicians all over the world have been better because of Bach and Beethoven and Mozart. There's a man in the White House who can look out his window and see the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial. Don't you think it helps him to be a better president? Yeah, but a game of pool? Anyone who tries to be good at anything finds himself in your shoes. He finds himself faced with a legend. And when he can't measure up to the legend, he fades away, he dies, and is forgotten. I'm only a pool player, Jesse, but I'm the best. No, you were the best. No man gets past me unless he has what it takes. And you don't think I have it? There's still one ball on the table, and it's taken you a mighty long time to get at it. You wouldn't believe this, Jesse, but personally, I'd like to see you win. Yeah. Yeah. I've only been doing my job. Stand back and give me some elbow room. Wait, Jesse. Oh, no. I've been waiting too long. Before you shoot, think about one thing. What? Sink that ball and you may win more than you bargained for. You're wasting your breath. Don't you get it? There's nothing you can do to stop me now. Nothing. Sorry. I was required to say that. Something along the lines of a disclaimer. Well, what are you waiting for? Not a thing. Ha! Win more than I bargained for, huh? Is that what you said? Well, it's over. I beat you. Looks like you did. Now I'm the best. I'm the best at something. So you are. You had to prove yourself under pressure and you passed the test. Well, aren't you going to congratulate me? I'm not sure that's in order. Thanks. What do you mean, thanks? I beat you. I'm gonna live. Of course you are. Those are the stakes. You'll live forever. Then why thank me, fat boy? You'll find out when the time comes for you to leave Randolph Street. Ah, you're a sore loser, that's all. I beat you fair and square. Yeah. You saw it. I beat the king of the hill, Fats Brown himself. So long, kid. Thanks for the game. Me, Jesse Cardiff. Now I'm the best. And I'm gonna stay the best. Because nobody's ever gonna take it away from me. Not ever. From now on, it's me, Jesse Cardiff. You hear that, world? Jesse Cardiff. 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 Yeah. Report, Report at, at once, once to Mason's, Mason's Pool Hall, Hall. Sandusky, Sandusky, Ohio. Ohio. Mr. Mr. Jesse, Jesse Carter. Carter. You're, You're needed. needed. Yeah, I'm on my way. Mr. Jesse Carter, who became a legend by beating a man known as Fats. But many years later, after his funeral, he found out that being the best at anything carries with it a special obligation to keep on proving it. Mr. Fats Brown, on the other hand, having relinquished his champion's medal, has gone fishing. These are the ground rules on Earth and in the Twilight Zone. Hi, this is Carl Amari, producer of the Twilight Zone radio dramas. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our official website at twilightzoneradio.com. 
where you'll get the latest news and information on these Twilight Zone radio dramas. Plus, at TwilightZoneRadio.com, you can digitally download three free episodes or any of our episodes for only $1.95 each. In this age of ever-changing technology, we've decided to make these episodes instantly available to you by making the Twilight Zone radio dramas a digital download-only series. This means that this series will no longer be offered on CD. The CD collections at our website are now being offered, while supplies last, at buy one, get one free. So be sure to get your favorites before they're sold out. Be sure to visit us often, and I'll see you in the zone. A Game of Pool, starring Wade Williams with Stacey Keach as your narrator, was adapted for radio by Dennis Etchison and Joby Cerny, and written for The Twilight Zone by George Clayton Johnson. Heard in the cast were Craig Brawley, Doug James, Roderick Peoples, Sandra Delgado, and Linda Ryder. This copyrighted radio series is produced and directed by Carl Amari for Falcon Picture Group. Sound design and custom Foley effects for The Twilight Zone by Cerny American creatives Bob Benson, Craig Lee, Michael Slaybach and Matt Sorrow. To learn more about the Twilight Zone radio dramas and to contact us, visit our official website at twilightzoneradio.com. <laughs>